Casa Portasa by Sagristissimo in L.A. Puebla, Spain. Building in Cuba is a complex endeavor. For an architect, is an ever-ascending challenge, that be by the perennial absence of materials, elevated costs or the commissioner's reluctance to work on contemporary proposals. A Cuban architect is an utopian character, whose work is not a necessity, neither aesthetic nor conceptual. Hustling in this hostile environment, Alber challenges reality guided by Tis believe that from within the crisis, their architectural proposal can thrive and bloom. Assuming the design and completion of a dwelling that fulfill every requisite, at the same time highlighting itself from the context and using nothing more than the most common and atchesable of materials, is in Chow Lenning feat, especially due to the aforementioned materials are often regarded as the resources for the less wealthy. This particular commission stated from the beginning that the final value of the estate double the amount invested on purchase and execution. Several real estate jesters were consulted to acquaintance about the main features of recently acquired houses. The investigation gave as main aspects the location the proximity of the center of the old city, the existence of a garage, at least one bedroom and bathroom at the first level, unity of spaces, a versatile backyard, and regardless of the amount of bedrooms and their level location, each one must contain a private bathroom. The convivence of at least two families and space for a possible economic activity was also demanded. For the achieving of these goals, a dwelling was conceived that, even as it couldn't comply with all the initial exigences due to the characteristics of the lot, for X15 MTS, allowed fast and expedite remodelation without compromising the integrity of the dwelling, regardless the intentions of the supposed buyer. Resources like a double-height access, centered lighting that goes though three levels and a backyard that ensured environmental control of all the spaces of the houses. At the same time, a structure was devised that allowed a fast remodelation, reducing finishing costs and maintaining the initial objectives. Cement stuccos were used on bathrooms and kitchen, cement floors. Artisan casted aluminum external fixtures and internal fixtures made of sugarcane cardboard. Finally, a three-level dwelling was projected and finished that comprises a first free floor, where the public spaces are okayed, a private zone for bedrooms on the second and a double-function third floor with a terrace, providing an outstanding view, and laundry. Alber make use of all these elements mainly by necessity because its handling and implementation has become their aesthetic signature, to maintain a viable and economic architecture and style. This house is a showcase of what Alber is defined and defend.